What's going on guys? Hope you're all having a great day today and today we're back with a brand new video. Today we're on some Ark Survival Evolved and I'm remaking one of my old videos I made about two or three years ago about how to get a lot of chitin at a low level. Um, looking back at that video and re-watching it, uh, it, it mostly got positive feedback but there were some comments that I, I understood because, I mean, I made it three years ago. I didn't have the greatest um, mic and stuff like that. So, one, the video was hard to understand because I didn't have the best mic. And it was a bit cringy. Just kidding. It was very cringy. And uh, I didn't exactly give a location about where I was. So, a lot, of pe a lot of comments I saw were, where are you? I can't find anything. You know, stuff like that. So, today, we're going to do a quick little updated video plus something a little more than that. I'm going to give you uh, two other methods to get chitin at a low level. So first off, addressing the comments about where can you find trilobites, I want to put up, uh, well actually first off, I'm right here, but I'm going to put up the spawn map on the screen. I'm also going to link it in the description where you can go to uh, like Arc Wiki, or whatever it's called, I forget, and it'll show you all the spawn locations for every um, wild dino or anything like that. But uh, here are all of the places where trilobites will spawn. They spawn just about everywhere where there's water. But uh, right now, as I said, we're right here, and I'm actually going to. Uh, oh, side note, yes, I am in a single-player world. You guys probably saw the commands thing, and I do have a wyvern that's down there, but I haven't updated any of the... Uh, what on earth? That bird just pooped. I haven't updated or changed any of the, uh, the drop rates, so if you kill something and it'll drop something, I haven't edited any of those drop rates. So whatever we get should be the same thing as if we were on an official server, Obviously boosted, it'll be different, but this is just going off as if you were in an official server. The drop rate should be the same. So, first off, I'm going to drop whatever I have on me. Um, let's see. Not that, that's the split. I forget how to drop things. There we go. LT, drop. Drop everything. So we'll start fresh, and you guys can see everything we pick up. So forget that's there. It's also best if you use a pike. That's another comment I saw people in my previous video. They were saying, oh, but pike you get at a higher level. Not really. You can unlock a pike at level 25, which really doesn't take that long if you think about it. But if you don't have a pike unlocked, you can use stone tools. You just will not get as much. Anyway, I'm going to be using a pike because, I mean, most people should have a pike by now. You only get it at level 25. I'm also about to starve, so I'm going to... Eat some raw food, and let's dive right in. So, I saw some trail bites around here. Here's one right here. So what you want to do is take your pike or stone axe or whatever, and obviously just start whacking him. Sorry, buddy, he's so cute, but, you know, we have to harvest his resources. Then take a pick, preferably, because it's best for harvesting, and just go ham. And you see that 51 chitin, 1 black pearl, and 11 raw meat. We're not doing this as much for the meat. It's more for the chitin because, oh my gosh, is that a lot of chitin? Next, go to the next one. He's a little boy. He's only level 4. But either way, he will still give a pretty good payout. 53 chitin from that one. All right, now there's another one over here. You also get silica pearls. I don't think I've gotten any silica pearls yet. But you, get, you can get silica and black pearls from killing them. You don't get very many, but either way, you still do get some. Level 12. He's a decent boy. Kill him. Harvest. 45 chitin. Still pretty darn good. There's another two. As you see, they spawn a crap ton of them. They are everywhere. So you can literally have stacks of chitin. Three silk pearls, 50 chitin, and one black pearl. Now, obviously, if you're a low, low, uh, a low level, you won't be using black pearls for a little bit until you level up more. But it's still nice to, you know, 
keep them for later. 58 kite. I don't even know what level that trilobite was. Oh, God. Let's not get close to... Oh, he's coming over here. He is coming over here. Let's get out of the water before we get eaten. And we're suffocating. That's kind of funny that he's vertical. All right, let's look and see what all we have gotten. So far, we have two and a half stacks of chitin from what that took. Two minutes, maybe? Two black pearls, six silica pearls, and a stack plus six. Actually, I won't say that because I already had meat on me, so I'm not sure how much meat I got from that, actually. But that is by far the best way to get chitin at a low level. Once again, we are right here, and you can get the link in the description to see where all trilobites spawn. I believe they spawn only on the island, but I could be wrong about that. Don't take me at 100% for that. They might spawn on other arc maps as well. But either way, you could travel to an island map just to get chitin if you need to. Now moving on to the two other not as good, but still you can get chitin from them. All right, and the next way to get chitin is a little more undoable and difficult just because they're hard to find. Also, just as a side note, I dropped all the stuff on me. There's a raptor outside, that's fantastic. I dropped all the stuff on me just so we can see how much we get, but you can get chitin from ants and uh, dra dragonflies, I think they are. I'm not sure what their technical term is in this game, but these ants and the dragonfly thingies. So I killed about six, five or six trilobites, I think. So I spawned in five or six of these ants, and we're just going to see how much uh, chitin we can get from them. Alright, so definitely nowhere near as much. We only got 26 from killing all five of them. So I already knew this, but trilobites are incredibly the, are incredibly the best way de definitely the best way I guess I should say um, of getting chitin but definitely if you run across any ants or dragonflies I would definitely kill them too just to even get even more chitin if you really need it but definitely the easiest and least dangerous since trilobites won't attack you are attacking ants and dragonflies. I don't really think I need to spawn in any dragonflies just because it'll drop the same amount. So you guys will get the picture. But that's been it. Make sure to drop a like and go check out my first video if you- oh god. If you want to. Um, until then, I'll see you guys in the next Ark Survival Evolve video. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Peace out.